Hey everybody, Andy Duffy here, pastor at Antioch Church of the Brethren, and Pastor Bilbo, who has a stick he's playing with right now. He's the pastor, of course, of stick management and barking at nothing. And we're bringing to you our daily devotional message from the Blue Ridge Parkway, looking out over the valley towards home. It's a beautiful day out here. We have been talking through the story of Jesus' last week on his way to the cross and to the first Easter. Most of this week we've been looking at parts of the Last Supper that Jesus shared with his disciples. Lots of important things happened at that final meeting. And today we're going to talk about the last portion that appears in all four Gospels. This is the way that the Gospel of Mark puts it. Jesus told them, You will all fall away, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have risen, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter declared, Even if all fall away, I will not. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, Today, yes, tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. But Peter insisted emphatically, Even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And the others said the same. The story today is about knowing that we are imperfect. God knows that we're imperfect. And no matter how hard we try, no matter how confident we we may be in the present, in the future we're going to mess it up. We may not deny that we know Jesus, uh, but we'll do something wrong. Something that we didn't think we would do. Because we're human. And that's just the way of it. And one way or another, we kind of just have to learn to be okay with being human. Jesus doesn't criticize or rebuke Peter here. He doesn't warn him about any kind of judgment for his mess up. He just tells him it's going to happen. And I think this also stands in for each of us. Jesus warns us that as much as we want to be the best people we can be, it's not going to be the case. Now, in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus adds a little bit before that conversation. I want to read to you what Luke says in chapter 22. Right before that passage we just read, Jesus says, Simon, Simon, Satan has asked to sift all of you as wheat, but I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail, and when you have turned back, strengthen your brothers. In this passage, Luke adds a little bit where Jesus not only tells Peter, but he also encourages him to repent, to turn around and come back. This is the good news for each of us, that we can always turn around, that we can always start over. In the Gospel of John, John always makes things a little bit different in his take on events. This is what the passage reads in John. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you, Bilbo, love one another. Yeah, he knew it too. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. And Jesus answered, will you really lay down your life for me? Very truly I tell you, before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. So, in John, in John, Jesus gives a little more prologue, and we get that great command to love one another. Jesus has always been more focused on relationships than about the purity of our behavior. Not that that's not important. But Jesus wants to develop a relationship with us, whether we get it always right or not. So be nice to yourselves. That's my advice. Learn to forgive yourselves, even as 
God forgives us. And maybe we can also forgive our neighbors. That'd probably be good too. Tomorrow, I will we'll see you all uh, via recording in worship as we finish up our story of the Last Supper with uh, John 13 and 14. And next week, we'll continue with these devotionals as we work our way toward the cross. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Be nice to yourselves. Rest, pray, forgive. Take care. Bye.